The days of summer taking us to Lower Sussex Little League Complex in Delaware. The second day of pool play action at the Senior League Softball World Series. First game of the day set to feature Honolulu, Hawaii, the West Champs going up against Alberta, Canada. Here's a look at the division at a glance. If you're new to the format, 10 teams in pool play with two stages. One, two offering. Sent to shallow right. In on the play to make the diving catch was Lauren Lines. And the first out is recorded. Souza gets a hold of this one to left. And for the grab is Erica Finney. And there are two away to begin the top of the first. Lost to Beardstown. This one, hot shot to second that gets through for a base hit in the right field. And Ho gets on to first with two outs. Rainey 0 for 3. Coming off yesterday, taking off for second is Ho, and she will be in a second standing up. So a runner in scoring position with two outs. This one straight up to third. Fleming there to make the put out. That ends the inning. So Taryn Ho, single. A favorite player. As you can see, Jude Bellingham, star for Real Madrid. Here's a shot to third. Ground ball goes right back to the pitcher. Great play, but safe. Beating the throw was right. Tautalfi, though, give her credit for trying to make the second effort on the put out. Steps into the box, 17-year-old. Hit and run, ground ball to second. Play on to first, four to three as the runner right advances to second on the put out. Dream job wants to be a college softball coach. First pitch to her, that one gets past the catcher. Advancing to third is right. There's Raukawa. Ground ball right back to Taufi going to home. Tag, not in time as Wright slides in under the tag. And Gukert able to get to first on the play. So a one nothing lead for Calgary, Alberta this past year. First pitch swinging this one sent to left. Underneath to make the play is Souza. No advancement by Gukert at first and there are two away. Galutzen, this one, back to Taufi, and that will end the inning. But one run comes across as Canada is able to take a 1-0 lead to work in the circle for Calgary. Oh, that one hit the head there of Kayliola. Able to shake it off as manager there, Chad Piler, making sure her teammate is okay. We'll head to first base. A key contributor. One one pitch that gets away from the catcher as Miller allows for the runner to advance to second on the play. So Hawaii. 3 2 to Tataufi. Skies this one up to short. On the play is Josie Wright, and there is one away. The 0-2 offering. Cut on and missed, and that's the first strikeout of the day for Cora Gukert. And there are two away. Gukert ahead in the count, 0-2. Strike three. Cut on and missed. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Gukert, who outside of the hit-by-pitch comes away retiring three in a row. The days you will either hear the Blue Jays or you will hear the Edmonton Oilers, likely the favorites. This one sent to deep right. Not deep enough, though, right underneath as Estes able to come up with the put out. So one pitch, one out to start the bottom of the second team, as she is known as. First pitch to short. Across to first, wild throw there by Ho. Allows the advancement on the air by the shortstop. As Fleming in a scoring position with one out. 
Hot shot into center field. That's going to get through for a base hit. Thought about hesitation at third for a moment, but coming in to score is Fleming on the RBI single from Finney. Losing 8-5, to five, the closest of the four pool play games that we saw to begin this tournament. Now trying to go for second on the play. Diving head first with the steal is Finney, and she gets into scoring position with one out. Feet. This one set the opposite way right to the second baseman there. Uyama, who makes the catch. Grounder, stabbed to third. Five to three put out there by Rainey. That ends the inning, not before another run comes across, thanks to the RBI single bar in the circle. Kyla Estes steps in. For Honolulu, strong first pitch swinging to center field. Jeremiah there for the putout play action. Hot shot that gets through into left center field for a base hit. As Jackson is on with a single here with one out in the top of the third. Taking off for second is Jackson in there. And now heading over to third on the missed throw. And Hawaii with a runner at third, trying to get their first run across up on Sunday night. Slap to third. Check. Fleming over to first. Five to three put out. And a nice job there by Fleming at third to hold the runner Jackson. Gukert. Strike three. Swung on and missed by Ho as the Potential threat comes to an end. Third strikeout of the game coming up at 5.30 Eastern time. Meanwhile, first pitch swinging and a ground ball that went through the pitcher, Ty Taufi. Greneveld is on in this game in the third spot of this batting order. This one sent into shallow right field. That one is going to get in for a base hit. Runners now at first and second with Gukert coming up with the base hit. Games, having already taken home a silver medal at the 2023 Canada Games. This one opposite way over the reach of Ho into left field and that is gonna load the bases here with no one out. Glutzen sends it to second, play is to home. A four to two put out. Bases still remain loaded but there is one out. Gukert coaches, makes the adjustment quickly, but the fearless leader on this team. Miller sends one through for a base hit. That's going to score at least two runs. It'll be first and third on the two-run single by the catcher, Logan Miller. Just out of the reach of Uyama at second. As Daphne Fleming, the third baseman, comes to the plate with a chance to add. Misses to the outside. Miller heads into second with no throw by Arakawa. Sets up second and third. Runners in scoring position, which has already put up four runs thanks to four singles in this inning. That one skied. Misplayed by the second baseman, Uyama. That allows a run to score. And sliding in a second safely is Daphne Fleming. It'll be second and third now in a five nothing lead for Canada. First pitch, Finney back to the circle. Taltaufi played a th first. No advancement by the runners and there are two away. And which my daughters Violet and Lily are starting to become. This one ground ball to third. Rainey across for the putout that ends the inning. Two left on for Canada, but not before. Another run comes. Pools advance to the eight team single elimination bracket. Tora Gukert back in the circle at work. First pitch, that one laced in the left field for a base hit. 
Rainey rounding first, heading into second with a stand-up leadoff double to begin the fourth inning, according to her head coach, Chad Piler. This one sent through for a base hit. Rainey held up at third by Piler, and so it'll be first and third. Two hits to open up the dugout, not getting flustered at the circle. In for a called strike on the play, a double steal attempt as Rainey backs her way through to third. Good decoy and distraction that allowed the advancement by Aldosa Caliola in the second base. So Hawaii with a... Th teammates. Two-two offering. Sent to third, Fleming going home with it. There for the tag is Miller out at the plate. 5-2 on the fielder's choice. I have a dream job of becoming a lawyer someday. Going for second, no throw by Miller. Uyama sliding in with no attempt. Chopper to third, Fleming playing with it over to third for the out, the second of the inning. List goes on and on. Gukert, 0-1. This one sent through for a base hit. That's going to play at least one run. Here comes Uyama sliding into home. A two-run double, as they are calling it here for Hawaii. That it is the number nine hitter delivering with the two-run double. And it's back to the top of the order for Honolulu. It'll be Jackson at the top of the order. This one sent through to left field for a base hit. Holding up at third was Estes on the base hit by Jackson, her second hit of the game, and now it's runners at the corners for Hawaii. 0 for 2 today is Souza stealing for second, trying to go for that double steal. Now the check back to third, and the tag not in time by Fleming as Estes was able to get under the tag safely at third. Sent into shallow left field, and the play made by Finney to now retire the side. But Hawaii's offense breaks through with three runs in the top of the fourth. Highlighted by that two-run double by Kai. Begin the bottom of the fourth for Canada. Josie Wright. This one, first pitch. And a pop out to Ho there, as it was Erica Finney, I should say. In there. 3 2 pitch. Opposite way, right to the glove of the first baseman. And the put out there by Atagi, and there is two away. That was a stacked lineup if you think about it. This one going opposite way, an absolute shot, but Estes is there to make the catch to retire the side. First time. Today, we've had a one, two, three inning for Canada. Sensational when it comes to playing ping pong. Most likely to go pro, according to her teammates. To short, Fleming. Easy grab, and there's one away. First pitch swinging. That one sent into left field for a base hit. A one out single for Haley Rainey. by the way, after that single, halfway home to a cycle. Has a single and a double. And goes to second. The throw not in time into center field. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Missing high. Rainey going for third. Fleming, unfortunately, nowhere near the bag, and so it's another stolen base awarded to Rainey. Again, the one-two. 
That one in there for a called third strike looking as Aldosa Caliola goes down by way of the K, the fourth strikeout today by her teammates. That one gets away. Rainey coming in to score from third on the pass ball. And Hawaii within one now at a 5-4. This one sent into shallow left field. Finney comes on to end the inning with the putout. Hawaii gets one across, 5-4. Canada with Hawaii falling to the defending champions in Beardstown, Illinois. First pitch, ground ball to third. Uyama with the nice throw across on the putout of Jeremiah, one away. This one sent to just the shallow part of right center field there to make the catch. It was rainy, and there are two away in the bottom of the fifth. This one deep to right field, and out of here for a solo home run. Logan Miller touching them all with a solo home run in Canada. Lead six to four. A single, a home run, part of a three RBI performance for Logan Miller, who absolutely sent this one out of the park, an absolute moonshot that gets over for the home run. Her first of this World Series. This one sent into straightaway center field, a two out base hit for Daphne Fleming. And Canada's offense continues to be on a roll, a two run lead with a run. In there for a called strike, throw down to second. Not in time, a stolen base given to Fleming going head first into second. O2 pitch, sent into second, mishandled by the second baseman, Rainey. That is going to allow Fleming to round third and come in to score the seventh run of this game for Canada, up 7-4 now on Hawaii. Finney with another run batted in for Canada. And just a bad bounce. Eluded Rainey of making the defensive put out. 0 for 2, that included a line out and a ground out. This one sent into left for another base hit. Two runners on for Canada, working with two outs in the bottom of the fifth inning. And now for the play with the shortstop, Rosie Wright. This one skied up to second. And the play made by Rennie, the catch to end the inning. But Canada comes up with a home run thanks to Logan Miller. It's now 7-4 at the end of five. Pool will advance to the single elimination bracket. That time the bunt dropped down and a great throw orchestrated by Miller, able to get out the speedy. Uyama who is calling for her manager Champs being MOT. Going up against Latin America, represented by Puerto Rico. Both those two teams looking for their first win of. And safe is the call. The challenge successful made by Chad Piler. Ava Atagi comes to the plate. Going for second on the steal. Miller with a great throw, not in time. The tag just not there as Wright just missed it off a good throw by tag. So a runner in scoring position. That ball gets away from Miller, advancing to third. A pass ball allows Uyama into third. So a stolen base coming. Gukert, this one. Set in the left center field. That's going to fall for a base hit. 
Uyama's going to come in to score on the RBI single, and now the advancement in the second. And Hawaii starting to feel some momentum. Down by two, all smiles there by Atagi with the RBI. An offense that was limited to just one run in Monday. Canada led as much as 5-0, but Hawaii's been able to chip away. Swung on and missed, and Dukert able to respond with her fifth strikeout of the game. Chance to get a run across with a runner in scoring position. Now drops down the bunt. Miller and Fleming go after it. Neither is able to pick it up and make a throw, and instead it's an infield single off the bunt by Jackson, and there's runners at the corners with one out. Here's Souza. Souza first pitch swinging. That one sent to deep right center field all the way to the wall. Atagi's going to come in to score. Rounding third into home, sliding safely in is Jackson, and we are tied up at seven. A brand new ball game here in Delaware. After Souza, first pitch swinging, sending one all the way to the wall. Two run double. Base hit. Rounding third, coming in a score. Souza, untouched, and the first lead of this tournament for Hawaii, thanks to four runs here in the top of the sixth inning, off the RBI single from the shortstop, Taryn Ho. What a turnaround and what a rally by Hawaii. Two run double that tied it up. Taryn Ho just prior to the pitching change with an RBI go ahead single. First time Hawaii has led today is Ho into second on a stolen base. Bugden's 3 1 offering. That one missing low for a walk, and there are two on. And now, Ho had a sizable lead. She was halfway down the line to third before Miller, day number two of pool play. 0-2, oh, cut on and missed, and a strikeout. First one of the day for Amy Bugden, and there are two outs in the top of the sixth. Now the first baseman, Spam for Hawaii. There's your knowledge of the day. And now a potential pitch out as both runners, though, however, advance on the ball, second and third. That one misses high for ball four, and that loads the bases to bring up Maddie Uyama. That one low gets away from Miller, coming in to score from third on the slide. As Ho, who gave Hawaii the lead, now gives an added insurance run on the wild pitch to make it 9-7 Hawaii. Just got in before the tag placed down by Bugden. So the wild pitch gives an added insurance run here to Hawaii, seeking their first win of this tournament. 2-2 Two -two again, misses. That one gets behind Miller one more time, and now caught in a rundown is Rainey, and the tag applied by Miller. That ends the inning. Of those winners, four international teams making up the field. Strike three called on a swing and a miss. 0 for 4 on the day is Gruenfeld. Duker gets a hold of this one, sends it to left, or right to the glove of Atagi, who makes the put out, and there are two away. And the defense. Looking to extend this inning. 0-2 pitch. Ground ball to second that gets through for a base hit. A two-out single for Jeremiah. 
Lutz in, first pitch swinging to center field. That retires the side. Despite the single given up, Canada finds themselves trailing 9-7 at the end of six. Gama starts things off in the leadoff spot for the seventh, going opposite way. That one's going to fall in for a base hit. Staying in fair territory, thought about going to third, into second with a leadoff double to begin the seventh inning. Any pitcher can pitch. A pitcher remaining in the game, but moving to a different position, can return as a pitcher anytime in the remainder of the game. As she comes up with the strikeout, number six on the day for her, back in the fourth inning. Squares up to Bunt, in front to Fleming, storms right in, throws it to first, safe at first. The play at home, Uyama sliding in to score the 10th run across the board now for Hawaii. This time, Essie's going for second, throw by Miller, bounces out of the glove of Josie Wright. And it will be a runner in scoring position at second. That one, ball four to Jackson. And there is runners at first and second with just one out in the top of the seventh. Laying down the bunt, a perfect one, orchestrated. That ball goes into center field. Souza with the bunt, run comes in to score in the form of Estes. And it makes it an 11-7 game here in the seventh. And picking a completely different sport to make the comparison. It will be another pitching change coming up as Canada has given up that RBI single in the last inning. Has a chance to add to it. A four-run lead for Hawaii. Runners at the corners, just one out. Going into second, no throw is Souza, so it'll be second and third with one out. Approaching two and a half hours in this game. Opposite way, gets through. Off the miscue by the second baseman. Two runs are gonna score on the air. Advancing to second on the throw is Ho. And make it a 13-7 lead over Canada for Hawaii. Game. Double and a single. Sends one, a hot shot in the left field. Base hit. Hold up at third. Allows for the advancement to second there by Rainey. Ho at third, Rainey at second. And just one out. In what has been a four run. Gooker trying to get out of this jam. 2-2 two -two with one out. Runners at second and third. Strike three call on the swing and the miss. That'll be the seventh strikeout of the day for Cora Gurker. This one sent in a shallow left field. Unable to make the play was Finney. That allows two runs to come in to score. And it's now a 15-7 lead on Hawaii off the pinch hit by Miley Kim. Largest lead of the game for them is at eight runs. The double awarded to Kim on the pinch hit. And we have Washington skies this one up. Two left. That ends the inning. Canada is going to need some type of rally here in the bottom of the seventh. Lies on the day, including a two-run single along with a solo home run. First pitch. Opposite way in the left field for a leadoff single. Three for four on the day. There's the 3 1. Missing high in the first two batters for Calgary. Alberta are on hand. Miller now at second off the leadoff single. Fleming. Second and third, 0 2 pitch. This one right to first. Play there on the first for the out with a run coming across. They'll make it a 15-8 score. Fleming. Pitch sent right to Souza. Takes a step to her left to make the catch. 
And Canada is down to its final out. This one gets away from the catcher. Coming home is Fleming. Arakawa off the wild pitch, could not handle it. The ninth run of the day for Canada comes across. One, one, this one sent deep to right field. Estes there to make the catch and Hawaii off an incredible rally comes back to take down Canada by a final of 15 to nine. And that's the ball game. Time again, two hours and 47 minutes. Two hours, 47 minutes, total time of this game. Canada falling to 0-2 in the Senior League Softball World Series. Hawaii picking up their first win now, 1-1 one one on the year. As Hawaii scoring 15 runs over the last four innings to secure the victory here this afternoon. 